what's up guys? It's EB from Kids Play TV and today we're gonna do something super super cool. At least I think so. They're called Quixels and pretty much what they are is um, Beedos but they're blocks and I think they are aimed more towards boys but of course and obviously girls can buy them too. Um, I have no shame in saying that I love playing video games and this just reminds me of when I was little and everything was 8-bit and pixelated and that's why today I'm going to be doing some of my great friends from when I was a childhood. I'm doing a little spin-off. Um, and then I'm also gonna do like one of their their patterns just to kind of show you. Um, so let's get started. These are all the kind of characters you can make. The box is super cool. I love it. It's all pixelated and boxy. Um, I just don't know how I'm gonna open it. So I have my trusty scissors here. And I'm gonna try to open it here. Okay, guys, I finally got it open. Hopefully. Unless if there's more tricks in here. Um. Okay, so I think I got everything. So, first off, they give a, you a tray, I think, to put uh, the squares in. Then they give you all the different colors, which I'm hoping I have enough to make what I want to make for you guys today. They give you stands, then the weapons, and then um, the little trays that you make your design on. And then it comes with what they call a fuse blaster and it looks just like a gun I'm gonna try to get him out and this is where you put the water and you spray it and I think this is way cooler than what they give you with the beetles and you put the water in there and then if even if you don't have quicksoles you can use it as a water gun during the summertime so I think that's really really awesome that's a good touch okay so I took out the all the um, squares and pixels and it looks like they give you two bags of like bright red then like a creamish darkish color um, one bag of that then a like a brown I want to say this is it kind of in real life if you're actually looking at it it looks more like a really dark tan um, then you get white dark green black yellow a bright green and for the last thing I'm kind of confused about two little squares of blue so I'm not quite sure if that has like a special part to play um, it probably does then for a closer look these are the stands it comes with and they break apart like so and then you can put them together like a puzzle piece and then it comes with an axe. It looks a lot like the Minecraft axe. And then a gun. Then these little doodly things come and go into, I believe, the stand. And you put your people onto that little stand there. And then it comes with two of them, so just like that. And then this is a tray, so hopefully there's enough room for to make what I want to make for you guys. And then another tray. And then it comes with, it looks like that's the Viking zombie. 
shark. This is like the dragon thing. And then a robot. So let me get this all set up for you guys and I'll see you later. Okay guys, I'm finally done with Mario, if you have not guessed already who this is. Um, like I said before, his color isn't quite right. He's supposed to have blue overalls, but um, obviously with two squares of blue, I can't do a whole set of overalls. I was thinking maybe I can do um, Fire Mario, but then... I didn't have enough white so this is how he looks and he is ready for a spray down with the gun so let me just take the gun and there he is so we're gonna let him dry and while he dries we're gonna get started on our second person Okay guys, so it's been 30 minutes um, and they're fully dried. Usually you have the um, like the grid underneath to help coax the thing off of the pad. I don't know what to call it. But um, let's, so I'm going to try to kind of, kind of, maybe, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. This foot needs to kind of come off. Ha! There you go. That's our Mario. And that's the back of him. Then time for our Link. I kind of want to be careful around the, the skinny parts. And there's our link, and they came off pretty easily. Um, a little sticky. So uh, let's get him or them both on our stands. Okay, so it says that you take like this little pointed area right there. I don't know if you see it right there. Maybe the blue helps it a little better. Um, and put it in the hole. So I'll kind of set him up right here here and kind of see where that lays. I'm going to go with this hole between his eyes. So that's our link. And then our Mario. We're going to, I want him kind of up off the air or off the ground into the air. And that's our Mario. They turned out really, really cool. I loved these. Um, I just wish they came with more color colors to pick from, but that's what the um, additional packs that you buy are for, obviously. Um, and then you can make their versions as well. So I might go back to the store and get a couple extra packs just to get more colors because I love making the old school video games characters with them. Um, but anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely recommend these. Go check these out if you're a boy, girl, gamer, non-gamer. They are super fun if you like the Beatles. They're just like that. Um, and then I'm gonna have probably do a couple more of these if I can find um, more colors to do more characters with. And then go check out our channel, um, check out our other videos if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and um, go ahead and click that subscribe button for us, it would help us a lot and you get to keep up with all the videos that we post every week. Um, and then I'll also put up a subscribe button above our little characters here. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!